Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a, a song called Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. And it's going to start on an E minor chord. And the way you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an E minor, which sounds really, really sad. And we're going to kind of start with, with a couple of E minors, and then we're going to go to a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B on the first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, and that makes a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. At the very beginning of the song, it starts with a piano intro, and it's kind of around those two chords. We got E minor, E minor, C, C major. Through that intro part, there's also a really, really cool piano lick, and I'm all about stealing licks for other instruments. So the way you can play that on the guitar is if you, if you play second fret on the D, and then go open B, and then go second fret on the G, and then open B, and then we're going to go first fret on the B string, and then open E, and then open B, and then second fret on the G, and then we kind of start that over again. So we got two on the D, open B, two on the G, open B, first fret on the B, open E, open B, second fret on the G. So that would be kind of a cool way you could kind of kind of do that, but really in the in the background, we're, we're, what what's kind of backing that up is just that E chord, C major, da, 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 E minor, C major, da, da, da. but then um, a, a, long, a lot of times with a song like this, I like adding what I call a strum pattern to it. And my favorite 4-4 strum pattern for a song like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So for instance, if you took the E minor and just tried that a lot, you'd have down, down, up, up, down, minor, down. with our chords through the verse, we have E minor, There's kind of that. Rhythm that kind of happens in the guitar part. And what I'm doing on that, I'm, I'm playing the E minor chord, but I'm just playing the low three strings. And I'm actually doing something called right hand muting or palm muting, where I'm taking the, the side of the right hand and kind of laying it down on top of the saddle to kind of get a muted quality out of the string. And then I'm just kind of following the rhythm with that with downs. Down, 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 down. Kind of cool, even just to do your first chord changes, but with that rhythm pattern. It's so like E minor, E minor, C major, C major, E minor, E minor, C major. you could kind of work the verse, but then when we get to our chorus part, we're, we're, we're doing our E minor chord, and then we go to a G major chord.
when we play G major, first finger goes A on the second fret, second finger goes low E on the third fret, and the third finger is the high E on the third fret. If you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then for G major, we're going to a D major chord, and when we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the high E on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret, and if you strum just the top four strings, just D, G, D, E. That'll get you your clearest sound out of D major. And then we're going to be going back to E minor. So our chorus part, we got E minor, G major, D major, E minor, E minor. Try that with our strum pattern. So we have E minor with down, down, up, down, G 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 But then from there we can kind of go into our verse, and if we tried that with our strum pattern, we have E minor with down, 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 down
basics of how you can follow the strum pattern or, or the chords through the song with the strum pattern. Another strum pattern that I like to add to a song like this, especially the, the, this tune, is, is a 16th note strum pattern. Now the down, down, up, up, down that we are just following is kind of working off an eighth note, which is where you take the foot tap or the beat and you're dividing into two parts. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. What a 16th note is, is if you divided that into four parts, like one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. And the strum pattern that I really, really like that works off a 16th note pattern it's a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So just to kind of go through all the parts to that, like you take the E minor and you actually start with just a down count of four. So you have one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. But then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one and a down on three and an up on four. So you'd be one, two, three, four.